Well, Mark, here we are again. Today, we're looking at how teams extract and source every bit of data possible to get that head start over their rivals. Yeah, it's a, it's a really big area for Formula One teams to, as part of maximising their own performance. So they use this data because it's something that gives them a bit of a hidden insight, if you like, to opportunities that they may not be able to see just with the naked eye. So I can see our car's been stripped back. Is this because this is where they're collecting the data from? Yeah, well, it's collected from literally everywhere around the car, but without the bodywork on, we just get a little glimpse, perhaps, of a lot of the wiring, the sensors and the connectors that are buried underneath. You know, they are everywhere around this car, 150 or so sensors, perhaps, and kilometres worth of wiring, maybe linking the whole thing together. So they source a lot of their data from the car. What about the driver? Yeah, so the driver now is an, another part of it. He's now monitored, he's censored up, if you like. So he's wearing heart rate monitors, temperature sensors. And actually this year in 2014, tiny little G-force sensors inside their ears, uh, which let the FIA medical crews know that um, if there's an impact or a, a big hit in a car over a curb, or if they crash, you know, involved in an accident, the impact on the driver's skull and, and therefore his brain can be carefully monitored. And they're using that research data to prevent and minimise injuries that further down the line in Formula One. So would you say that the data that they source is to um, help with performance or for safety? Uh, well, it probably is more about performance. However, safety is still a big part of it. Now, the FIA now stipulates, and they have done for many years, that teams have to carry an accident data recorder, a little bit like a black box on an aeroplane, if you like. So if there's an incident or an accident on track, they can go back and look at the various data channels that they're recording in there to find out how it happened or why it happened, maybe look at preventing those sort of accidents in the future. And one of the other parts of that system is that if there's a big incident, a big impact with a, a crash with a driver, there's a little light on the top of the chassis here, which if the impact is over a certain G-force threshold, seven Gs, then they know that when the marshals get to the car, they know the driver's been subjected to that and they can deal with him accordingly. So we know this is where the data is being sourced from. Where's it then going? Uh, well, of course, as the car's going around the track, all of this data being collected through the engine, uh, the, the data management system is being sent straight back to the garage in the pits. Those guys are analysing it. But on top of that, which a lot of people won't know, is that data is also being simultaneously sent back to the factory. Now, that could be on the other side of the world. If these guys are racing in Australia and the base is back in the UK, that data is travelling right around the planet in split seconds for another team of people back there to be analysing it in even more detail and helping the team at the track. So basically, when we watch a team decide to make a pit stop, that decision could have been made in a different country. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, st the, the strategy side of things is as much a part of this as the performance side uh, within, within terms of the car. So yes, they have access to so much information that it might be their call to make a pit stop over and above the driver or the team. We sometimes see those egos coming through with the drivers, don't we? <laughs> they don't always agree with yeah. it, but uh, <laughs> yes, they don't always have the bigger picture. So when we're watching the race, we don't see or know of any of that data. Is that because it's top secret and quite guarded? Yes, is the short answer um, that's a big part of it but also the sheer volume of data means that we could never really see all of that on TV but um, yes it's closely guarded because this is the sort of thing that enables a team to set themselves aside from from another team in the pit lane all the teams are collecting very similar data very similar amounts of data but it's how they use it and what they use it for that sets them aside from, from everybody else so it's a real closely guarded secret within the paddock well thank you for giving us an insight into the very secretive world of data in yeah. Formula One thank you Thank you.